Hello, everybody, and welcome to our interaction with experts on the YouTube platform for Sheher, which is an acronym for Strengthening Primary Healthcare and Resources for Health within Gurgaon in Haryana. So as part of this series of interactions, we have uh, experts in various aspects of urban health, community leaders, uh, public health leaders, and uh, members from the civil society coming in and talking about their experiences <clears throat> with various aspects of urban health in, uh, in, in Gurgaon, Haryana. So today we have with us uh, Dr. Shifalika Goenka, who is a senior faculty with the Public Health Foundation of India. And she has a huge body of work related to non-communicable diseases, and her work extends across various domains of non-communicable diseases, ranging from clinical interventions to uh, the built environment to lifestyle modifications. And uh, she's one of the uh, renowned leaders in public health as far as non-communicable diseases are concerned. So uh, welcome, Dr. Shafalika. And uh, it's, it's a real pleasure to have you here today. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ray, for introducing me. It's a very generous introduction. I don't deserve that, that many accolades. But I'm delighted to be here and delighted to be able to have the opportunity to express my views. So thank you very much indeed. Yeah, you're most welcome. So we'll get straight to uh, our point today. Uh, Gurgaon, as we all know, is, uh, is a very unique blend of multiple, uh, if I might say, diversities uh, ranging. We have uh, skyscrapers and international offices, and it's almost a modern city on one end. And we also have very ethnic rural uh, environments within the precincts of Gurgaon. So we see both the extremes uh, within this uh, urban environment, if I might say so. So uh, in terms of public health interventions, how would you tailor in uh, public health interventions within this diverse uh, built and uh, social environment of Gurgaon and Haryana? So your thoughts on this? Uh, thank you very much. I think this is a very important and a critical question. And thank you for asking this. And uh, you're absolutely right that uh, the diversity which is seen here is rare to be seen in any part of the world. And it requires different and tailored responses. And from a public health perspective, I'd like to give uh, answers at two levels. One is, of course, providing a very strong uh, primary health care system within walking distance of every individual. A strong, there is no substitute for a state provided primary health care system because that is what is really important if there is meaningful action for health or prevention of diseases and treatment of diseases at the grassroots level. Secondly, the most important and in fact one of the fundamental foundations of health for a city would be the physical and the social environment. That would contribute more to health of individuals across the lifespan in all age groups than any single healthcare interventions. And when I mean the physical environment, it has multiple factors. For the first, for the first thing which I'd like to mention is the walkability, making Gurgaon walkable for each and every individual across all socioeconomic strata, across genders and classes. So how do you do that? You provide wide pavements or sidewalks. Pavements need to be as wide as the road on each side. So each side pavement or sidewalk needs to be in width as wide as the road. The road should not have more than two car lanes. And these pavements should be disabled friendly and they should have trees to lower the temperature. Eight to nine months a year, Gurgaon faces scorching heat, temperatures beyond 40 degrees Celsius. How do you make walking, when, especially when you're commuting for less than three kilometers distance, how do you make walking more comfortable than going by an air-conditioned car? That should be the aim, and that's the aim of many European cities. 
So we need to provide the physical facilities as well as the temperature comforts. So the temperature comforts will come through shaded trees, which lower the temperature by four to six degrees Celsius, the ambient temperature. It lowers the surface temperatures by 15 to 20 degrees Celsius in high heat conditions. Also, the same trees will lower the PM 2.5s, will lower the pollution levels significantly, which has been proven in certain other studies done across India. So trees will not only make walking attractive and comfortable, it will also lower temperatures. So making Gurgaon walking friendly, walking attractive, that means a person should prefer to walk rather than sit in an air-conditioned, chauffeur-driven cars. That should be the purpose. These have known benefits, and the, the uh, new benefits have been documented scientifically, unequivocally. Also, the other thing is the presence of large parks within 0.5 kilometer radius of every individual. Presence of large parks within 0.5 kilometers of every individual is known to decrease diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, heart attacks, strokes, cancers, and many, many, much more. It's supposed to decrease the refraction, that means the uh, spectacle requirement in children. It's supposed to increase the cognitive performance in children. It's supposed to increase memory. It's supposed to decrease depression. And most, it, it's supposed to increase peace and mental health. These are wide-ranging benefits which have been scientifically proven conclusively over and over and over again. And mind you, these particular two aspects which I'm suggesting should be complemented by pedestrian-friendly crossings, shorter crossings and longer signals for people to cross over with dignity. A person of all ages should be able to cross over much more comfortably. There should be more dignity given to the pedestrian to the child, to the elderly, than to a car. And once you do that, the traffic jams will decrease, the number of cars on the roads will decrease. So these are extremely important, scientifically proven. So as you can see, this is transdisciplinary, it's multidisciplinary. The urban development will have more impact on the health of the individual than just doctors themselves. Doctors cannot do anything. Doctors will only treat an, treat an acute problem. They cannot prevent the development of chronic diseases. They cannot prevent deterioration of chronic diseases when it exists. And the suggestions which I have made are triple duty action interventions. That means they prevent non-communicable diseases, they prevent infectious diseases because the spread of a lot of infectious disease come down and they are health promoting in terms of environment friendly. So they will mitigate climate change. They will be environmentally friendly cities. They would be these cities. So they would be aligned to SDG 3, Sustainable Development Goal 3, which is good health and well-being. A sustainable Development 10, increasing equity, increasing equity between the poor and the rich. Sustainable Development 13, climate action. And 11, sustainable development, 11, sustainable cities and communities. These are the primary requirements. Also, one more aspect of health, which prevents 70 to 80% of diabetes, chronic diseases, cardiovascular diseases, cancers, is providing healthy food options available in walking distance to every individual. So fruits and vegetables availability should be increased. If uh, there is a fast food chain providing unhealthy foods, it should be mandated to them that they should have a healthy option. And healthy is not healthy from a marketing perspective. What Nestle says is healthy food and providing Kellogg's uh, conflicts. No, healthy is fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts, available along with the unhealthy food. So available, affordable, accessible, healthy foods and beverages in and around every person should be a primary requirement at workplaces, at walking distance at the corners. Once you do that, when health is taken care of, and once the physical environment, which I'm suggesting is taken care of, the air pollution levels will go up, the lung health will improve, the brain health will improve, the cardiac health will improve, your nerve health will improve, a whole lot of diseases 
will be prevented and we will be functioning with a better quality of life because the temperatures will go down. The energy requirements will go down because your air conditioning requirements will go down. Not only in cars, you lose fewer cars, also in the building spaces or worksite environments. It should be mandated that worksite should provide in their canteens healthy options which are cheaper, more affordable and desirable than unhealthy options. So if you have an unhealthy option, if you're selling samosas, if you're selling burgers, along with it, just next to it, there should be fresh fruits and vegetables. And many countries have done it. And I don't see Gurgaon is unique. It can do it. Like uh, Singapore is doing it. A lot of the European cities are doing it. So why can't we do it? Because the health is supreme. The environment is supreme. This planet is one. That This planet is not good. So what I'm suggesting will have multi-dimensional effects. Just like a mom makes healthy food in the kitchen, when she's making healthy food, she's also making food which is safe. She'll wash the vegetables three, four times and she will cook healthily and give healthy food for the child. Similarly, what I'm suggesting is administrators and policy makers make a city environment which is health promoting and safe for individuals, safe for every person, every family member whether it be a child, whether it be a middle-aged person, whether it be an elderly person. So all these, these are on paper very simple interventions, but have wide-ranging uh, effects on individuals, on health, mental and physical health, and their names will be enshrined in gold for generations to come. So those are my two cents uh, which I have to say. Thank you. That was really wonderful. You talked about a multi-sectoral approach uh, to dealing with issues. And of course, uh, citizens' participation would be uh, prime in, in all of these. Um, coming from that, of course, you've touched a lot of them. Uh, if you were to list the, the top three public health challenges within Gurgaon, and uh, what would they be? And uh, what would be your approach uh, to, for, to find solutions for them? Okay, so the top three challenges from a public health perspective, which I see, are inequity. That means the wide differential between the rich and the poor, the educated and the not so highly educated, safety issues, and an unhealthy environment. An unhealthy environment, which is a promoter and a creator of chronic diseases, infectious diseases, lung diseases and a whole lot of other diseases in every age group. So these are the three main challenges which I see. And we have to move to equity, we have to move to fairness, to justice, by providing a health and environment promoting physical environment. So this, the interventions which I have suggested, large green spaces within 0.5 kilometer radius of every individual, wide pavements, each side sidewalk or the pavement should be as wide as the road. Dignity of the pedestrian, providing trees on both sides. So this wide width of the pavement, which I'm suggesting, is over and above the width of the trees. Wide girt trees to provide dense shade on other side, which will lower temperatures, which will make walking comfortable to every individual. He should want to walk for those one, two or three kilometers rather than use an air-conditioned taxi or a chauffeur-driven car, even if he has that facility. And making crossings narrow, long, dignity in crossings, giving priority to people, looking at transport more for, from a walking perspective than providing uh, relieving traffic jams. Because as soon as you increase the walking perspective, making walking comfortable, traffic jams themselves on their own will come down because fewer and fewer people will take uh, to the cars. Also, public transport. Public transport is a game changer. For example, the metro, increase the density of the metro. Uh, and because metros and public tra uh, transport is known to improve health, studies done all over the world have shown that individual health improves by when people take public transport due to multiple perspectives. One of it is about, of course, physical activity. So each individual indulges in more physical activity, more to the extent of 30 to 50 minutes per day if an individual is taking public transport. So making public transport of adequate capacity 
comfortable and more attractive than a personal shop for driven car should be the objective and it's not about last mile connectivity it's lo- about last mile walkability and you can't if the temperatures are high you need the trees because the trees will make walking comfortable you cannot expect people to be reaching their offices you know top to down uh, in sweat dehydrated so you have to make walking comfortable and that can happen through the dense trees the trees look like a normal environmental or horticulture department yes but that department has more role to play in your health in preventing chronic diseases in improving mental health and also lowering the air pollution levels significantly in the environment so these are the three so the the suggestions which i have also providing health promoting food so having access to help fresh fruits and vegetables and nuts at every corner with every option of an unhealthy food healthy food option should be available which are health promoting affordable and accessible so you have to make healthy food affordable and accessible to every individual a person cannot be consuming healthy food if it's not available in a, of in his office or at the corner and which is affordable to him so the suggestions which i have made will address the inequities the differences between the rich and the poor will improve the safety of every individual and will create a health promoting environment you can also then gurgaon can be a unique city it can be labeled as one of the healthy cities of the world it can take those distinctions if you, these few interventions which i have suggested which are multi sectoral as i suggested and transdisciplinary they will have more influence on health and environment than any other getting an expensive drugs or expensive uh, equipment for health thank you yeah thank you very much uh, dr shivalika i think that's wonderful and uh, these are issues which you mentioned uh, which we true for any uh, new urban settlement so wherever we are looking at rapid urbanization as we are growing economically so uh, we are looking at uh, making our cities bigger building new cities and and gurgaon i think is a perfect example of that and uh, these are issues which have to be kept in mind right at the beginning of the planning process and rather than an afterthought and i think it's it's really uh, valuable these uh, suggestions that you've made uh, thank you very much for being here and uh, i would request all viewers to uh, keep on following this space for more experts coming on and looking at how we can make gurgaon uh, better and more livable and and rather beautiful so thank you very much we'll uh, close our interaction today here thank you very thank much you. for being here thank you very much it was a privilege interacting thank you so much